We're looking at a rare free offering from UAD, Verve Analog Machines Essentials. UAD is billing this as a fast and fun way to add analog saturation and warmth to your tracks. But is it essential? Let's find out. But first, please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel grow. And be sure to get UAD Verve and other amazing plugins from my Plugin Boutique affiliate links. Another way to support the channel. So you can get Verve Analog Machines Essentials for free right now at the link on screen or the link in the description. Essentials is actually a free version of the full Verve analog machines, which offers more models to choose from and more controls. If you love Essentials, then you may want to check that out. It's on for half price right now. So installation is easy. You will need to install it via UAD's installation manager, which is becoming more common these days. The only downside I give this is that it installs a background app that tends to want to run its startup and stay open the whole time. I had to go into my system preferences and disable it from running at login. You may want to do the same. Otherwise, it's a quick one button install. I have an old jingle I made here in Cubase that's in the style of an old 1960s Motown song. got some drums, some strings, glockenspiel, bass, uh, plus even a Mellotron over here. This sounds pretty good, but it doesn't sound authentic to that era. The recordings were all done to tape back then with plenty of limitations on frequency ranges and lots of saturation on tape. I think Verve is really going to help to make this sound more analog and vintage. Let's load it up on the drums. It's a good place to start. So right away I hear that it's adding a bit of sheen on the top end. I like this better already. When I bypass Verve, it's missing something. This is a super pleasing sound. It reminds me of a kind of 70s tape sound. Maybe with even a bit of little pre-emphasis before hitting the tape. Very sweet. I reach for this for a Fleetwood Mac style mix, for sure. But for this song, I want something that's going to roll off some highs, make it more like those old recordings. Let's try some other tape models here. Tip, if you hit the eye up here, you'll get a little summary of what each model does. Okay, I'm going to switch to warm. Oh yes, warm is more what I'm looking for. A sharp attenuation of high frequencies with some added harmonics in the lows. Very nice. Let's increase the drive a bit. Let's crank it. Okay, that's a bit much. But it definitely sounds kind of tapey. That'd be great for a modern indie style oversaturation. Now let's take it back a bit. I want the drums to be pushing a little bit. Like they're hitting the tape hard, but not farty sounding. Okay, that's great. That's pretty much what I had in mind. But we've also got thicken and vintageized. Let's check these out. Oh, wow. Thicken really rolls off highs and lows. You know, this might be even more authentic to the early 60s. I might use these for the strings, because I find they usually have some quite caustic and mid-rangey frequencies in old recordings. Vintageize is even more extreme. This could be great for quickly dialing an old speaker for sound design. 
That's a little too limited frequencies for what I'm going for now. I'm going to switch back to warm. Let's get some verve going on the bass. I'm going to go pretty high with the drive on this. Bass loves harmonics and this will help it cut through. Now let's dirty up this piano. I think I'll stick with warm here. It's folding the piano back into the mix, whereas it was kind of sticking out before, so I like this. I'm gonna quickly add verve to the strings. Yeah, that's a big difference. I feel like I lose some of the high-end clarity, and this sounds more like old records to me. I'll add it to the other strings. Yeah, that removes a lot of the kind of perfectness of the sampled strings. Adds a bit of gain too, I'm gonna lower these. That's great. I'm gonna quickly add verve to the other instruments. And then I'm gonna flip most of these tracks to mono to make it more authentic. And for fun, let's put a little verve on the main bus for that final lo-fi tape sound. Well, that's great, I like how Sweden can even add some high-end back in if you find you're missing it. Let's do a little bit here. And you also have an AB so you can test out different settings completely. Yeah, I think this is much, much closer to an old recording. Let's see what the before and after is like. Overall, I think UAD Free Verve Essentials is a no-brainer. Verve is super ideal for quickly getting the sound you want in your head without messing about with mixing and matching saturation EQ plugins. I really enjoyed using Verve, and I will be reaching for this often in the future. 
And if you want more control over the sound and six more tape models, grab the full version of Verve Analog Machines for half off at Plugin Boutique, or grab the excellent free version with my QR code or the link below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. I love hearing from you. Until next time, mix well.